In this video, I'm going to build a very simple game in Scratch, and hopefully by building this game, uh, you'll be able to learn some of the concepts, programming concepts, and then some of the functionality of Scratch itself. The game is called Click and Move, and that's because I have no imagination, so the basic idea is you're going to see how many times you can click the cat in a, uh, in, you know, in a 10 second period or a 30 second period. So the first thing we are going to do is do the core functionality of moving the cat when he is clicked. So here in events, we'll say when this sprite is clicked. Now when you start a new project in Scratch, the cat, um, normally he just shows up as your one and only sprite. And uh, so he's already there. Um, when we have him selected down here, we get to edit his scripts over here. And so that's what I just did. I dragged this block, the when this sprite is clicked block, over here to the scripts area. Uh, and that does what it you think it might. It's everything connected to it below, uh, the cat will do. So we're going to go to motion and we're going to grab to this go to XY. Now if you were just to click on this go to XY, uh, he will go to the middle of the whatever this is called, the scratch stage or the sur scratch surface. Um, if he's over here and you were um, to go to zero, zero, and I were to click it there, he goes back there. So, um, but we don't want him to always go to the middle. We want him to go to random place. So we're gonna grab two of these get random pills uh, and drop them into that block. So the first one is the x coordinates. Uh, this is just like when you're graphing in math. So we start at negative 240 and it goes up. Zero is in the middle and then positive 240 is on the right hand side. And then for the y axis, it starts at negative 180, goes to zero again in the middle and positive 180. So for the x, we're gonna say, pick a random, negative 240 to 240 and then for the Y we will pick negative 180 to positive 180 now when you click the if we make sure everything is running uh, we click the cat will move you can also just run a block of code by clicking on uh, by clicking on it over here on the right so it's as if that cat had been clicked you can test it so while that is amazingly fun, uh, again, we're gonna keep building the, the game. So the first thing, or the next thing rather, we're going to do is we're going to count how many clicks. Uh, to do that, we'll need a variable or, a, or a, some information that changes, it varies. So if we go to the data menu here, we'll say make a variable, go ahead and leave it for all sprites, and we'll call this variable name clicks. And every time that the cat is clicked, we want to change the clicks by one. Um, that just means that we'll add one to whatever that number is every time that the cat is clicked. So if we test it, you can see that the, that the clicks is updated. Now, if you, you can see here that sometimes I accidentally drag the cat um, that's because I'm not clicking precisely. If you want to avoid that altogether, this button right here makes the game full screen. Um, then you can't see it anymore, but up in that upper left-hand corner, the button still looks the same and it zooms it back to this. Uh, so that's a good way to test your game uh, with all input as if somebody was just playing it. So uh, while this is, again, wildly amazing that it keeps counting, uh, it, we don't reset that number ever. So what we want to do is have some way to start a game. We'll go back to events and we'll say when the green flag is clicked, that sounds like a good way to start the game, we will um, set clicks to zero. That means every time you click this, boom, it resets that um, the click counter. Uh, that way you know that when, as you're playing, Start a new game by clicking the flag, and then uh, resets it. We've started the game over. So that 
is just so much fun. And uh, this concept of resetting a game is something that you will do all the time. All right, so uh, the next thing that we're going to install is a timer. So we're gonna make another variable and we'll call it time. Uh, just for fun, when we start the game in this, so in this block, the reset block, we are going to set time to, uh, we'll say 10 seconds at first. And then uh, we will have him run the game. So what, uh, the game length being 10 seconds, we are going to, and there is one more way to do this with these uh, repeats, uh, but we're gonna do it this way, haha. -ha. So we have repeat until, uh, and that means that everything is going to be repeated in this block, and you can see there's a way to snap blocks in right here, until this condition is met. So we will say until, go back to data, time equals, and then you just type in there zero. And then inside this loop, we will have change time by negative one. So that means uh, that it will keep going until the time is down to zero, and that allows you to count down uh, the time here. If you didn't want to see the time, you could do this just as well by saying by using a repeat and doing it 10 times. Now how we get it to wait a whole second is in the control menu, we'll grab a wait one second. So we start with, uh, in this loop, which is what this block is called, uh, we start with wait one second. So now when we click go, you can see that timer slowly counting down. All right, now, because, oh, the timer's over, but you can still click the cat, which doesn't seem like much of a game if you can keep earning a score after the game is over. So we're gonna go the simple way and say after this timer is over, we're going to hide the cat. So if you just click this show and hide and give the cat that command, you can see what it does, kind of what you think it would do. Now, because we're hiding him at the end, we want to make sure that he shows at the beginning. So in this reset area, up at the top of your script, we're gonna say show. And the first time your game runs, it won't really do anything, but the second time after that cat is hidden, uh, it will definitely do something. So here we are, we start the game. We're clicking like crazy. You can see the clicks going up. You actually, you can see me dragging the cat a lot. <laughs> uh, the timer reached zero, and so the cat disappears. And that is basically uh, the whole game. When you want to play again, you just click the, uh, whatever that thing is, that green flag. So things that we learned in this game. Uh, we talked a little bit about loops. We talked about some of the looks blocks, some of these commands, also known in Scratch as blocks. Um, we talked about the motion block of going to X, Y. In other games, we'll uh, do all these other motion commands. We talked about variables, uh, and we talked about how to change them a little bit as the game is played. So that's about it. Let me know if you have any questions.